I'm Stephen Ben Danoon with Israeli News Live. We have Esther from Israel who will be on the phone with here with us here momentarily. Uh, so just stand by. We're expecting her phone call at any moment here now, live here at our studio in Florida. Uh, and Sister Esther is in uh, the Golan uh, near up just north of Galilee, close to the Lebanon border. Let's stand by as we wait for her call to come in. Baruch Hashem, I'm Stephen Ben Danun. You're watching Israeli News Live. We have Sister Esther on the phone from the Golan up in Israel, uh, live with us right now. And uh, Sister Esther, uh, we are, of course, we're recording. We're not live technically that way there. But please update us on what is going on right now in Israel. Okay, right now in Israel, Israel uh, I-24 News is reporting that we have an explosion in a town called Nayon uh, near the Gaza. A kibbutz has been uh, struck uh, by rockets, and it has struck a home, killing all the members inside the home. And also now we have in Haifa, uh, and also in Syria, all of the sirens going off because a rocket has hit uh, near Haifa. Um, I-24 News is uh, reporting on this, and also uh, Israel has also struck um, a hospital uh, down in the Gaza. And we have also terrorist infiltration into kibbutz Nahal Oz. Uh, it has been resolved. We have shot five militants have uh, been shot by the Israeli Defense Force. Um, suspected terrorist infiltration in southern Israel, um, uh, area of Shahar Hanegev, uh, the IDF has uh, told re all the residents to stay indoors. And uh, again, we have air raid sirens in Israel's north near Haifa as well as in Sicilia. So, uh, Sister right Esther, now, uh, this is the north. This is a barrage of rockets from Gaza toward Ofakim and Israel South. Uh, we have intercepted three of them, and one falls near a school, an Israeli school. And four Israelis are dead in a mortar explosion near the border with Gaza. And this, uh, three, uh, dead from the mortar explosion in southern Israel, uh, are uh, Israelis. So we need everyone right now uh, to uh, pray again for the peace of Yerushalayim, not only Yerushalayim, but all of Israel. And when we say pray for the peace of Yerushalayim, we mean all of Israel. Amen. Um, Amen. And we are in a prophetic time. We are right now in a prophetic time. Uh, there will never be a time like this. Uh, it's a very terrible time, but also it is a time for all of the true children of the Most High, Ha'elion, to come together, to pray together, and show that they stand for Israel with Israel. Because Abraham was promised that all those who bless Israel will be blessed, and all Amen. those who curse Israel will be cursed. And there is never a greater time in history to prove your worth um, than to stand with uh, Israel right now. We are at the testing phase, and the Most High, High Elyon, is dividing the sheep from the goats. And you must decide which side you're going to be on. Amen. Couldn't agree with you more, sister. And let me just say this to those that are viewing. I really encourage you after this video will be loading within, I would say, probably 45 minutes of the time that we're recording this. Uh, so you will be catching this news broadcast very, very shortly thereafter. I encourage you. I will do the same that we go to our knees before the Lord Hashem. Uh, Yeshua HaMashiach, we go before him. I am right now, I am right now um, hearing uh, bombs go off up here in the Golan, okay? I am looking out and I am seeing animals run. We must now pray for the peace of Jerusalem. We must now pray for all of Israel. We have uh, bombs and explosions uh, going off and people are now going to the Golan.
bomb shelters. I see my neighbors right now. Okay, sis, you, you, you go ahead and get in the bomb shelter. When it's safe, come back out. We'll talk then. And uh, we'll be praying for you guys and, and encouraging the people to pray immediately, sis. God bless you. I love you, sis. Be safe. Thank you. And Thank you. I'll love talk you. to you shalom soon. Shalom to all from Israel. Shalom, shalom. God bless. Baruch Hashem. Shalom. Ben Danun, you were listening just a moment ago to Sister Esther, who lives in the Golan up in northern Israel, live as we speak here. Uh, this video going live in just a few minutes here uh, of listening to this video. Israel is under attack in the northern parts. Now, it is believed right now by our sister here that this may be coming from Gaza. However, uh, we will have to get the updates as quickly as we possibly can. It could be coming out of Lebanon. Hezbollah has already, the tensions on that border have already been at a very much escalated point. And also we're finding that uh, there's escalation with tensions with Turkey, uh, with Turkey bringing the flotilla in, escorted by military. And I've also heard that the, that the, uh, the over somewhere in uh, the Spanish countries there, that they're talking about sending a warship to escort the flotilla in. So there are tensions on every hand. And as Esther pointed out, if you're going to pray for Israel, if you're going to stand with Israel, this is the time you must stand, you must pray, we must come together. And so I plead with you and ask you to pray for Israel. Israel needs your prayers. As she said, Yerushalayim, which is Jerusalem, Yerushalayim Shel Zahav, Jerusalem of gold, be praying for Jerusalem, the city of gold, that God will deliver the Jewish people. Uh, they're going into their bomb shelters even now at this very hour in Israel, which right now it's it's just now getting uh, late evening there. Uh, well, it's actually nighttime. It should be. I, I'm not even sure of the time now. I'm thinking it's probably about 2 p.m. Eastern, which is about 9 p.m. Uh, at night there. Uh, so I, I, I encourage you, please go to your knees, pray and ask the Lord. By the way, Esther is a believer in Yeshua. Uh, she is also the very family that, uh, that had, when they were trying to go back home to Israel, that they did not, uh, uh, the, their bank in particularly were not allowing them to wire funds into their, to their bank back home. Uh, and that's one of the reasons we were going to be doing an interview with her today on this. But as you see, uh, they had to rush to the bomb shelters. Baruch Hashem. Pray for them. I'm Stephen Bendenun with Israeli News Live. Hello.